Hello and welcome to Florida Focus, I'm Christopher Zingale. A new sport is sweeping through Tampa Bay. Aziz Turner introduces us to pickleball. What happens when you bring together tennis, badminton, and ping pong? Something new is born called pickleball, and it's one of the fastest growing sports here in Tampa Bay. Tampa Parks and Recreation revealed they will be building 49 pickleball courts by 2023. Pickleball has been growing rapidly in the Tampa Bay area since the pandemic ended. The Bay is just following the growing trend that many cities across the country have picked up. The sport is easy to learn, does not require a lot of equipment, and is fun for all ages. Pickleball courts have been springing up all over Tampa. Last summer, Hillsborough County set aside $3 million to build 36 outdoor courts. Local player Enrique Barboto says one reason he enjoys the sport is it reminds him of similar sports he has played. But it's just fun that it's like tennis, it's also I guess uh, ping pong, there's so many things inside of it that you can play. Many people expect pickleball to continue to grow in popularity, especially with big names such as LeBron James, Drew Brees, and Tom Brady purchasing Major League Pickleball teams. Pickleball enthusiast Zach West says it has been pleasing to watch the sport grow over the years. It's crazy. I, never, I, I remember playing back when it wasn't as big, but now everyone's doing it. In the near future, Tampa Parks and Rec has plans to build more indoor pickleball courts for players to use as well. Major League Pickleball, or MLP, will also play games in Florida next year. The holidays are lighting up Tampa Bay. Reporter Antonio DeLuca visits Tampa Bay's Festival of Lights to capture the holiday spirit. The Hillsborough County Fairgrounds have been transformed into a winter wonderland with over one million lights spread over a two-mile drive. USF student Sam Gonzalez says his favorite part was the Floridian lights. My favorite part was there was a lot of like Florida-themed lights. There was like gators and things like that. His roommate, Andrew Gerganis, says it reminds him of his childhood. I like uh, this because I used to go to this all the time, like every year with uh, my mom and dad and like the, uh, one of our neighbors put on a, a show like where they would do their whole house and lights and stuff. It was really cool. So it reminded me of that. The festival is open daily from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Monday through Wednesday is drive through only, but Thursday through Sunday, you can walk around and explore Santa's village. For event details, go to their website, www.hillsboroughcountyfair.com. That's all for Florida Focus. Have a good night.